In this video, let's learn about the lipomas. A lipoma is a benign soft tissue tumor which is composed of adipose tissue. It is enclosed in a capsule of a connective tissue. It is the most common form of soft tissue tumor and it's benign. It may be arranged in lobules separated by a fibrous septa. Sometimes lipoma may also become pedunculated. So this is the peduncle and this can be the lipoma. Lipomas are commonly found in adults from age 40 to 60 but can also be found in younger adults and children. Causes of lipoma The tendency to develop a lipoma is not hereditary but there are some hereditary conditions such as familial multiple lipomatosis which may include lipoma development. So you should remember familial multiple lipomatosis. Gardner's syndrome or Deckham syndrome can also cause lipomas. Some cases have been reported where minor injuries have triggered the growth of a lipoma that is called as post-traumatic lipomas. However, this is still controversial. Classification The lipomas are classified into superficial subcutaneous lipoma, adenolipomas, angiolipoleomyomas and angiolipomas. History taking The history is guided by anatomical location of the lesion. These are the questions to be asked. When was the lump first noticed? What brought the lump to the attention of the patient? The symptoms related to the lump? Changes that have occurred since the lump first appeared? Whether the lump ever disappears and what causes it to reappear? Whether the patient had any other lumps and what they were like? Whether there has been any loss of body weight? Whether the lump has been treated before and has reoccurred? Clinical features of lipoma Most lipomas are small, that is under 1 cm diameter but can enlarge to sizes greater than 6 cm. These are localized structures which are lobular and fluctuant in nature. As lipomas are fat filled, they are mobile and they exhibit slip sign. This is the main important point to remember. That means they move easily when pressure is applied on them. This is the slip sign. It is most commonly asked in viva, skin free, soft, and on examination, they do not exhibit differential warmth. And on examination, there is no local rise of temperature. Lipomas are usually painless, soft and non-tender. Diagnosis of lipoma is usually done clinically. Other investigations include pre-operative radiography, ultrasound, MRI, sometimes differentiate between lipomas and liposarcomas. CT scans are very occasionally required. And sometimes FNAC, that is the fine needle aspiration, may be used in suspicious lesions. These are the differential diagnoses which include fibrosarcomas, abscesses, cold abscesses, neurofibromas, hernias, papillomas, sebaceous cyst, epidermoid cyst, nodular fasciitis, erythema nodosum, nodular subcutaneous fat necrosis or the hematoma. These can be the DDs. This is a sebaceous cyst. Here you can note the punctum. This punctum differentiate Sebaceous cyst from dermoid. In sebaceous cyst, from the punctum, the sebum is drained. So this is the treatment modality for sebaceous cyst. Sometimes if lipomas are left untreated, they can form myxomatous degeneration, saponification, calcification, infection, ulceration, intersusception, intestinal obstruction if lipomas are inside the GIT. And some sources claim that malignant transformation can occur, while some say it isn't. So this is a controversial point. Coming to the treatment of lipomas. Usually treatment of lipoma is not necessary unless the tumor becomes painful or it restricts the joint movement. Most commonly these lipomas are removed for cosmetic reasons. However, reasons to remove lipomas include when they grow very larger in size or for histopathological examination to check if they are benign or malignant like liposarcoma. And the last important point is that the actual characteristic of a lump is not known until it is removed and medically examined. These are few suspicious signs in which removal of lipoma is very necessary. If the lump suddenly starts to grow very large, it can be malignant. If the swelling or lump is greater than 5 cm in diameter, if it is located in extremities, retroperitoneally, in the groin or in the scrotum or abdominal wall. If the lipoma is in these areas, it can cause complications. If the lipoma lies deep, that is beneath or fixed to the superficial fascia, if it exhibits malignant behavior, that is invasion into the nerve or the underlying bone. Surgical excision of lipomas. As we said, they can be left alone. 
but they may need to be removed for cosmetic reasons or because of the compression of surrounding structures lipomas can be removed lipomas are normally removed by simple excision this removal is done under local anesthesia and takes fewer than 30 minutes and in about 1 to 2% of the cases there are chances of recurrence lipomas generally do not infiltrate into the surrounding tissue that is why they can be shelled out easily during the excision surgery after the surgery there is minimal scarring if done with a technique called as segmental extraction in which a small stab incision is done followed by a blind dissection of the lipoma and then extraction is done in a segmental fashion so this is the surgery while extracting a lipoma so this is the surgical extraction and in cases of big lipomas liposuction is another option it is done if the lipoma is soft and has a small connective tissue component liposuction results in less scarring however with large lipomas if fail to remove the entire tumor that can lead to regrowth of the tissue so this is all about the lipoma if you like this video do subscribe to my channel